Right, my thoughts on Ubisoft, they usually disappoint me. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to see a bit more of that Star Wars game. Um, but apart from that, I'm basically just here for uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2. I'm not expecting it because, like I said, I'm always constantly uh, disappointed, usually. But, you know, i I got to do it because if it happens then if it happens and I don't stream it, I'll be mad. So I've, I now I'm, I'm in until they announce it. Ah, oh, Mono's a one thing. Okay, well, should we have a look? Let's see what, uh, see what this little indie game come up is, is like. Kind of looks like it was a side-scrolling Metroidvania type thing. I'm going to skip all of the other bollocks. Indie game. Oh, it's not Ori. Mecha Ori. This looks like something I play. Iroh in the Death Swamp. I see, I could actually try demos now, Dream, because I have a PC that won't explode when you try and play a game on it. But also, I'm not sure if I've got the time. I need Bernard's Watch. Uh, this looks pretty solid. Looks like it controls well. I, I don't know, Mo. It says... Uh, it just said an indie game... Helped with the... Oh, yeah, look, Lucid Dream Studio. I think Ubisoft are just kind of, like, half-funding it, maybe. Right, we're not going to watch any of the rest of that because it was just all kind of, like, didn't look like it was worth it. Away. Welcome to Ubisoft Forward. Star Wars... Supported by Ubisoft. Sorry, that was that's the uh, sentence I was looking for. Okay, we're skipping that part. Oh yeah, they're probably yeah. I was gonna say it'd probably be an ex defiant thing. Are you spoiling everything that's gonna be in this show? I like a Star War. I think I might need to crank this up a little bit. Put it about there. Just let me, as usual guys, let me know if it's a bit too loud or anything. We haven't had a splinter cell for a long time as well. I think it might be time for it to come back, maybe. Prince of Persia. I guess like Sands of Time remake might be a might be a thing they could show. Guessing with the stars, this is probably, yeah, for Star Wars. There was like a Splinter Cell mobile game that I think got binned off. 
And they were splitting themselves skins in Rainbow Six, yeah. I do hope this is good because it looks it looks beautiful. I love seeing the uh, the orchestra instead of the game, and when we do show the game, I like that we're really far back from the screen, so it's hard to see what's going on. That's my favourite E3 thing. Hey, new record. At the top, where it should be. Let's go next. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. And as we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for a scoundrel. In you Star Wars Outlaws, gotta have a little guy with one you. of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. I knew it was I knew it was coming. Our intel points to the Moss Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. So let's head back to our ship. We're picking up in Accra Station. A remnant of the Clone Wars, it used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place to resupply. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Need your name cleared from the wanted list. Your ship, the Trailblazer. It's a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. On board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kay. Each planet has its own system for you to explore, and many opportunities to make a few credits, All right. which you can choose to engage with or not. I am under attack! My ship will not survive long! This is Kay Vess. I'm board the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. One down. Apart from at the conferences, I haven't really been uh, watching any of the footage for this. This is all kind of a bit new to me. To help, and you can tell Gorak he owes KVS a ship. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes while making a few credits. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine. That's cool. Yeah, they showed like a third-person stealth section in last year's um, Ubisoft Forward, I think. Tatooine space, edge of the galaxy. 
The tattoo system is in the clutches of the hot cartel. Our reputation with them is poor, so we best be on our way. I was wondering how seamless this is going to be. It's a bit, bit of a load screen there, but actually, welcome to legendary Moss Eisley. Pretty good. The infamous hive of scum and villainy. We could head straight to our destination, or explore what the city has to offer. No, I mean it's a good way of hiding it, isn't it? It's a dream come true for our team, allowing us to show parts of Moss Eisley you've never seen before. Man, the detail is like crazy good. There are many opportunities for a scoundrel, including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control, <clears throat> even though the increased imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. By asking around, we learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster and who used to work for the hot cartel. Our intel leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. Traveling to your destination can be an adventure in itself. Oh, surely there's something like that, Dream. At the very least, you should be able to, like, stroke As you him. you across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. Busy place. You must be able to pet him. I remember that when I said I was good at stealth. All right, maybe there's a data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. Anyone close? Sutta. Aguatisti. Easy. All right, let's see what we have here. I got it. It feels really, really Star Warsy. Wait, Quint, that sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the Huts. Like, I should talk. Using all the font and stuff. Oh come on! It's kind of a, uh, it's kind We've of nice. Spotted. Well, we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here quick. Oh, here we go. This is how Tom will be playing the game. We're in trouble, pal. Shooty bang bangs.
again. If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming, and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster oh, dead skills, eye. upgrade your speeder, or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy full of opportunities. We should keep moving. This yes yeah, looks really solid. It's just like really like nice presentation on it. Yeah, this could, I reckon that this could be a good PC game for me, I think. Surviving in the workers' district in Canto Bight. Seeing the rich get richer while pulling off small cons with your buddy Nicks is all you've ever known. After crossing one of the galaxy's elite, you end up hunted with your one chance of freedom being an impossible you, you sh task. You show more? To pull off one of the greatest heists of all time. It looks good. To increase your chances of survival, you'll need to seek out elusive experts scattered all across the Outer Rim. From a skilled pirate to turned a totally fair dream, like Ubisoft games on high roller who crap, they're just a bit derivative. Or even a group of scrap hoarding Jawas that can fit off-market parts to your starship. They just all feel the kind of they kind Follow of feel the same as each other. Whispered between locals, or well, I a think, tip off anyway. from a cantina bartender that will lead you to their location before embarking on shady and often dangerous <laughs> jobs to grow from a street thief I didn't vote with your wallet, into though. a fearless outlaw. But as a wanted scoundrel. It's in your best interest only to stick around <laughs> long enough to get what you need before jumping to a brand new location. Syndicates and their leaders such as Lady Kira and Jabba the Hutt have their hand in every part of the galaxy, from the darkest corner of Acra Station Arm to the lawless sands of Tatooine. Build your reputation with them to earn lucrative rewards <laughs> or gamble everything and you probably Risk got that with this game Molly, honestly and double cross them to land yourself a big score on behalf of massive entertainment along with our co-development studios all across ubisoft and of course lucasfilm games it's my privilege to share another look at this childhood dream come true that we've crafted he missed the opportunity to say massive thanks wonder. We hope you love it too. If you're willing to take the risk, the galaxy is full of opportunity. He's just about to do some just dance. Welcome to the first ever open world Star Wars game. Wow, they're really set in the dangerous golden age. Really going all out on this one, aren't they? Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Okay. You play as Kay Vess, a scoundrel looking to start a new life. Kay gets pulled into a plan that will change everything. I believe if you follow the plan, no one gets hurt. Fortunately, she won't do Friend. it alone. From childhood, Kay and Nix have been inseparable partners. You're welcome. Helping each other every step of the way. All right, distract him next. Using their criminal skills. Wait, this is tools. it, Crow. Pretty much so far. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good. Nick's will have to constantly adapt to every scenario. 
Uh, it wasn't really open world, Reese, or at least the first one wasn't. It was more like a, almost like a, it's linear, but you could go and revisit. It's like a Metroidvania type Whoa. thing. If you don't want me to sound the alarm, you'll get me out of here. As your versatility grows, gain access to new skills Grappling and hook. contracts. There she is. A friend needs a little something stolen. And in this world, your actions have consequences. I can't let you walk out of here. I'm gonna finish it. Shame. And reputation is everything. Where is he? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And more attention you'll receive from some of the most notorious syndicates of the galaxy. And how did you think it was going to end? Tell the governor the payments will not increase. It's up to you where your loyalties lie. Hey, Nick. Being Nick. wanted by the Empire brings a new set of challenges. Hey, this is the first Star Wars game that Ubisoft have done, to be fair. This is getting bad. Hold right. So as your exploits grow, beware of who you cross. Hang on. Uh, don't pre-order, guys. Just a reminder. Scattered across the stars are unique locations, rich biomes, environments, and adventures to discover. Traverse the lush jungle world of Akiva, the ancient city of Kajimi, the dangerous savanna moon of Tashara, or roam the lawless planet of Tatooine. When it's time to move, <laughs> I heard Kajima as well. To transition from planet to planet. ND, fire up the hyperdrive. Ready to jump. Once you land, you can explore all these worlds on Kate's S57 Cardinal Speeder. <laughs> this is the life of an outlaw, a life where you fight. Explore and infiltrate parts of the galaxy you never thought possible. There are opportunities at every turn, and if you're willing to take the risk and defy the odds, the galaxy is yours for the taking. Yeah, I think that looks quality. Oh, I'd, I'd like to give that a go, but I'll probably wait until like a bit after launch when they've uh, managed to fix all the bugs. Yeah, she seems cool. Definitely uh, getting a Han Solo feel from her. Is this uh, X Defiant? Watch me. Turn Supposedly, this is um, this is good if you want a Call of Duty shooter, but I, I don't really I don't have any interest in it. One of the guys at work has been rinsing it and he says it's very sweaty, which he hates, but he's also like sweating it out playing himself. Is it, Reese? Or is it like just one or two guns uh, dominating or something? Uh, what, what do you think of its syntax? I played uh, Apex like solidly for the first three or four weeks and then I just completely dropped off. It's sweaty as fuck. <laughs> Sniper's insanely OP. Ah, oh, FOMO skins! Oh no. Has anyone actually played this? Hello, everyone. 
since our launch, it's been very exciting watching the community grow and have fun with the world we created. Has it been We've growing gathered though? We've a lot of your feedback during season one, and we are continuing to work with you, our community. What's up, Dr. To Jin? Engaging, How you doing? Naval experience. I'm all right, I'm all good. Season two, Chorus of Havoc has just Oliver, begun. How you doing? introduces a new narrative arc with brand new Sea Lords, the Hubeck Twins. Armand and Bertrand are set to it challenge just looks you with their boring. orchestral fleet and reward you with new loot if you are victorious. You will also get a brand new ship, the Brig. It's fast, maneuverable, and perfect as a warship or smuggling Ugh. vessel. This season will have you face off against a vicious and yeah, hungry it's, new sea monster. Like it works the in Lestari. Uh, Special sea of Thieves. Time it events, doesn't the work in this. Fiesta and Dragon's Regatta boat races will have you competing for additional rewards to customize your ships and arsenal. We've also added community requested features, including fleet management, allowing you to assign your ships to a POI, secure your profits, expand your empire, and deliver precious pieces of eight. New solo and PVE game modes have been added, giving you more ways to acquire manufactories and defend them from rivals looking to cripple your empire. Ship upgrades will elevate your favorite ships to powerful I mean, if this new came levels, out offering further diversity eight years ago or wh style, whatever when it was meant to come out, summer, it, it might have been better. Experiences will continue with our upcoming season three, Into the Dragon's Wake. You will meet the mysterious Li Tianning, a renegade of the naval faction, the Dragon's Claw. This new sea lord will create a big impact on the open seas yeah. and brings new activities, stories, and rewards. Yeah, because the, the ship stuff was cool in Black Flag, but it also wasn't the main focus, so it kind of worked because it was in the outstay its welcome. A flying dragon resurfaced after eons of slumber. A new 5v5 PvP mode. Ah, a sea monster, a flying dragon, aka something that isn't in the sea. I got it. This mode will be a key feature of season three. So I'm just being three. a prick now. And you can also try it separately as part of our free trial. Finally, thank you to all our players. We will keep working hard to bring you original, amazing experience. Ubisoft are very good at go on this journey like with polishing you. a game up to eventually be good. So maybe that will happen with this, but ah, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right, Dream. Maybe you're right. So we've got Prince of Persia. Is this the Rogue Rogue of Princess Prince of Persia or whatever it's called? Rogue of Persia. Hello everyone. I'm Gwen Bero, brand director for Prince of Persia. And today I have three special treats for you. Oh, three? Since 1989, players have gone on epic adventures through legendary Persia. Embodying relentless princes capable of defying gravity, running on walls, rewinding time to avoid traps, Lovely bit and of chocolate syntax. creatures. To celebrate the 35th anniversary of this iconic franchise, we wanted to give you new exhilarating adventures. Back in January, Prince of Persia, I still need to the get Lost that. Crown, Apparently that was excellent. critical acclaim from media and players. Today, Ubisoft Montpellier has a special treat for you all. Check it out. <coughs> Hello everyone. Thank you for all the love you shared about our game and the free updates released over the past months. It's been thrilling to us. Spoilers. And now, have a look at our first title update, available for free, called Divine Triumphs. And next, a glimpse of a story DLC. See, this is the problem now. Like, this is why it's worth waiting. 
for a lot of games because I want to play the complete version with all of the shit added in. Because uh, it's unlikely I'll go back to it after I've done it. If I do it, if I did this at launch, I would not be going back to try this. Most likely. Oh, they had a Prince of Persia 2008 costume there. Wonder if that means something. It was 2008 it came out, wasn't it? 2008, 2009? Story DLC. Again, so like, I might as well wait until that's all out before I do it. Oh, I see Rayman. But we are not stopping there. Ubisoft has partnered with the indie studio Evil Empire to bring their amazing independent spirit to the franchise. The Rogue Prince of Persia, which released just a few weeks ago, is a fast-paced action platforming roguelike. Didn't this release on like the same Throughout day as Hades 2? Throughout the early access phase, we'll be gathering well, the Hades valuable early feedback from thing. you all, while also delivering regular updates and additional content. Here's a taste. Again, it's an early access game. I'm, I'm, I'll wait until it's finished. Early access release, while everyone is in full debugging mode and completely freaking out. So by the time you see this, the Royal Prince of Persia would have been out for two weeks already. And it's time to thank you, people from the future, for all your love and the billions of sales we've made now that the game is bug-free and has 100% positive reviews. Billions. Today, I can happily announce that our first update, The Temple of Fire, is about to release. Check it out. I'm still a bit unsure about the art style of this one. I don't hate it, but it's almost a bit too clean. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. as long as it's fun, that's the main thing. But yeah, early access, I'm, I'm never in for early access, so I always wait. So what's the third one? Is it Sands of Time remake? Finally. I will leave you with a glimpse of what we are calling our love letter to one of the most beloved games in the entire series. Okay, it sounds a time remake. One that I'm sure you'll agree is truly timeless. Lol, Thank you. do you get it? Because it sounds time, timeless. It's very, very good. Twenty twenty six. Okay, that's fine, but are you gonna show it any of it or Great, thanks for fucking wasting our time. Twenty twenty six. They've been fucking the they must have completely remade that from the ground up. Anytime, anywhere. From your Cause PC, that was meant to come out like last year, wasn't it? Discover thousands of hit songs from artists like Metallica, Tom Petty, oh, was that one good, and Reese? Linkin Park with new songs added each month. <laughs> I might stop it. Skills, it might get good. To difficulty and tab or sheet music view. Whether you're a beginner or expert, anyone can learn with Rocksmith Plus. Plus, get real-time feedback with personalized AI recommendations to grow your skills each day. And best of all, new users can download Rocksmith Plus free with access to a limited number of songs, lessons, and features. Okay. Try for free today. That's back when you could get a, a good version like that was completely different on another console. Yeah, yeah, they must have just restarted. No I guess. No fucking Like completely way. restarted. But 2026 though, man, that's oh that's a long God. way off. Oh, this looks so nice. Probably gonna be saying that a lot. I got goosebumps. Nice and easy. We're gonna be best pals. Whoa! Yes! Yo, let's go! Nice! I'll never get on one of these uh, these kind of things because it'll just be me going, I right, fuck off, cunt, or something like that. Great. 
I'd be like playing like Gears of War and it'll be like, ah, oh, get chainsawed in half, you prick. They probably won't like that. Maybe, Reese, I don't know. The battle has been won. Yeah, I, I was kind of a bit confused by that, Mo. It is time to heal, rejoice. I guess it's just because they're used to making first-person shooters. Welcome to the great games. Maybe. It's a very pretty film, Dream. Target is secured. But needlessly long, and I don't really give a shit about the plot. Really. They tried to break us. <laughs> but stronger. Yeah, the second film was way, way, it's about half an hour too long, I think. They are beautiful films, though. The thing is, they're making what, like five films, six films, or something? The crew, I guess. Hi, everyone. Do you see they switched the off the servers the for Crew the One? So, like, it bas that basically makes me never want to buy this because they could just switch the se all the servers off. Season 4 will be the final update of Year 1 coming in July. It will be all about car customization and you will discover our latest playlist. Donk it's so shit. The rider. Now, let's talk about the future. I'm thrilled to give you a first look at our festival program for the year to come. It evolved into an episode of we'll Our Blue Planet halfway season, through. Cars <laughs> and playlist. We will start with Season 5 and a huge surprise. We know many of you love spending hours exploring our beautiful world. So, what about discovering a new playground? Yes, a brand new Hawaiian island will be added to the game at the launch of Season 5 for free. Season 5 will also bring a sequel to a fan favorite playlist with Men in Japan, Volume 2. Year 2 will introduce a brand new gameplay experience. Chase and Takedown arrive at Motorfest. Let's have a look. I never played two. I quite liked one. It was the the handling was a bit shite, but once you get used to it, it was uh, it wasn't so bad. Ah, oh, carpenter Bru uh, brute. We're driven by the chase. Always on the lookout. And once our target is in sight, it's on. Love a bit of carpenter brute music. Yeah, they were... Didn't they do the music in Fury? That is really good video game music. Doggy. There's no rest for us, as the chase never stops. The Chase Squad will be joining Waterfest in November as premium KDE content. To find out more, tune in to our next The Crew Showcase in September. Thank you for watching and see you there. Um, yeah, I'm not being blown away right now. By order of the Emperor, my fellow Romans, I bring forth tidings of hope across our glorious lands. For... Oh. Oh, is it settlers, Mo? We stand on the threshold of a new age. 
Our streets shall be lined with abundance. Our fields shall yield bountiful harvests. And our coffers shall overflow with wealth. <laughs> An era of prosperity dawns upon us, heralded by the arrival of a new governor. You can take it from here. That's Anno. Okay. I didn't realise uh, Ubisoft had Anno. Have we just had another Anno Manu, game? I love that trailer. That was awesome. Hi, my name is Manuel Reiner. I'm creative director. And hi, I'm Hay Anderson, brand director. And it's with great pleasure and enthusiasm that we, on behalf of the Ubisoft Mind Studio, stand before you to give you a glimpse into the extraordinary new chapter that is Anno 117, Pax Romana. What happened to the a previous like 115 games? Awaited. Now, we'll be releasing in 2025 on both PC and console. This is getting out of hand. But today, we embark on an unparalleled journey. Just imagine, it's the year 117, time of the Pax Romana. Yes, and united by conquest, the empire found its way to peace and become a cultural melting pot. Mm -hmm. Anno 117 Pax Romana will deliver a Roman gaming experience unlike anything you have ever played. And for the first time in Anno, you will be able to choose your starting province. Either the mysterious Celtic wetlands of Albion, where no civilized Roman wants to be, or the traditional Roman heartlands oh, really, Reece, that's close cool. to the hungry heart of empire. Manu, I'm so Touch excited grass. for this game. Same for me. <laughs> and there are so many more exciting features and details that we'll reveal in time. So stay tuned Wait, what, for nine next thing? year as Anno 117 I miss the British Pax burn, Romana by the way. will be releasing on both PC and console. But it's with great passion and mm -hmm. excitement that we bring this 25-year-old timeless game here to the main stage at Ubisoft Forward. And to our core loyal fans, a massive thank you. Because without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you, oh, everyone. Oh, okay. I didn't... Oh. Is there a reason for that? Oh, okay, Reese. Yeah, got it. Got you. Year 8, Season 2. This game has been going for 8 years. Oh, that was cool. Punch, guys. I didn't know Ubisoft owned Brawlhalla either. Clearly that uh, information has been deleted from my brain. Oh, that's the only, only Rayman you're going to get in this trailer, probably. Yeah, well, no, For Honor is one of those examples of a game that came out a bit, a bit shy, and then they've, they've polished it into a, a, a good game. That's what I mean. You can't. I, I, I got to give it to them in terms of they stick with stuff. They don't just bin it off. They'll like. They'll try and. They'll try and improve it. I'll be able to tell you, Reese, when um, YouTube tries to block this video. Did have. I did have a lot of fun with Trackmania at the time. The multiplayer was always pretty good. Okay, this is still going, that's good. Hoverboards. Oh yeah, this, this, this was in the pre-show uh, pre thing. I didn't bother to look at it because it just looked a bit naff. Look at this game that's probably quite fun that's going to die within a year. Because everyone and his mum is trying to do a live service game. Super monkey bollocks. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Super monkey bollocks.
the old Tyco drums out. Yeah, it's true. They 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 waffle a bit too much. I think like uh, sometimes you I like a bit of you know dev talk when they but then talk about it. when they're like actually talking on stage and shit though. I'm like it just sounds really unnatural. I prefer like a, sh a show like Microsoft's like last night where there's a little bit of talking from if they had a bit of talking from devs instead of the. Uh, business talk bullshit, like the beginning, middle and end. And then just loads and loads of trailers. But I appreciate that Ubisoft is one company, so they don't really have as much to push out. Who are you? We are the Shadows. That served the light. The oceans fill with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Power. Vengeance. We must learn to trust. And follow the blade. This doesn't look like Assassin's Creed at all, does it? Hello, everyone. I'm Charles Benoit, game director on Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm very proud to be here today to present our dream project, a game that we have wanted to make for a very long time. Yes, we're finally going to feudal Japan at the end of Sengoku era. It was a period of war where clans were fighting for power. A turning point yeah, in why didn't you make it a long time ago? <laughs> in the unification of oh, Japan. Tsushima did really well, now we should make it. By political intrigue, secret leagues and battles fought in the shadow. Now, this has obviously been in development for a while, At I would a time imagine. where the greatest warrior became heroes and inspired the most amazing and well-known epic fantasies, the samurai and the shinobi. I mean, that's definitely not true, Chiaki. Two perfect archetypes for our duo protagonist. You'll embody the deadliest trained assassin in history, the Shinobi, with Naoi, a young woman from the mountains of Higa province, who was forced by war to learn the arts of deception. You'll also experience Japan through the eyes of Yasuke, an historical character whose legend is surrounded by mysteries. It allows us to tell the story of a foreigner who becomes a samurai under Oda Nobunaga, the most powerful demyo at that time. I just played Unity like a year after it came out and it was fine. Stories and views of the it was world. just a bit... Once like, allied, player it was just pretty much the same as the old ones, so nothing Play special. as Yasuke, a strong combat-focused samurai, or as Naoi, the agile and stealthy shinobi. And as you progress in your adventure, you'll feel the time passing like never before. We're introducing a full year cycle where you'll be able to rediscover a location oh, to the, under different seasons Is this the Peter Molyneux moment to the trees grow in real For time? For example, in winter, ice may prevent you from going underwater. But as the season gets warmer, you can now use pounds to approach your enemies. Or every rain will help you to blend in the environment, to lurk or escape your opponents. You can also use your surroundings to your favor. At night, extinguish lanterns and destroy brazier to vanish in the shadows. Each day and it's season like bring its own challenges. But today, I'm really excited to share an extended look at Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay. You're about to <laughs> see a sequence where Naoi and Yasuke are hunting corrupted demio through beautiful Yeah, I mean, SEO's Etsy, games were very good, but they were also You'll fresh the at that point. This is another one of those series that suffers a lot from being almost yearly at some at one point. Of Yasuke and the deadly skills of Naoi. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy. Monkey. Peace and war 
benevolence and cruelty. I tread my own path in this divided land. Man, this stream is a bit rough. After having the 4K streams the other day, that was uh, it's, it's a bit of a jump in quality here. At last. Hopefully it looks alright on the stream for you guys. It's a bit rough on a full screen. The fields are busy. A big harvest requires many hands. <laughs> Same, Molly. I got my 4K eyes on at the moment, though. <laughs> well, you are a friendly beast, are you not? <laughs> Samurai, sir, this way, I beg you. Hurry, sir, please. Right behind you, little one. Baba, I brought someone. Hikimaru, I wonder where you went. <laughs> Dream just needs a ah, animal petting thing for it to be a game of the year. One that does not hail from these lands. I am a stranger, yes. But you have nothing to fear from me. Ha! I have enough to fear from the men of Kuchiyama. <laughs> they abuse their power, taxing us. Again and again, leaving us only scraps. I bet they are in the market now, along the main road. Well, the stroking pets, a Molly. A stranger might make good merit, leading a village of a threat like these men. Is that so? Then I shall see it done. For this life, yeah, it's pathetic, isn't it, next. Internet? You know, just fucking play the game. Get a fucking grip. I don't understand those people, honestly. Yeah, no, I, I got the sarcasm, mode, don't worry. I bet you the fuckers that are moaning about it as well still buy it, because they're just fucking... They just, they just love a moan, don't they? About inane bullshit. Oh, you remember I was saying about people moaning about uh, Joanna Dark not looking like... Uh, a supermodel in that new trailer. Guess what happened Such on the beauty. first Shadow Perfect Dark suffering. thing I looked up on uh, Twitter. What is happening here? This isn't your fight, Samurai. I told you, keep walking. Canal, that thing's brutal. Oh yeah, that yeah, I saw that people were moaning about that as well. But isn't that like a story thing or something? People complaining about people complaining just perpetuates the problem. Nah, I just gotta call these people out on it. They need to be shown how fucking stupid they are. Combat looks pretty, uh, pretty satisfying. How fucking strong is this guy? They were going to kill me. Thank you. There's another. Up the road toward the castle. A corrupt samurai named Fujioka. Protector turned persecutor. 
Greed cannot rule this village. Welcome back, Martin. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. I said Feel splat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this guy's pretty strong. With your blood. You will have to spill it first. Who do you think you are? For the people? I am just. It really does actually. You know, you know what? I didn't even think about that. The UI does look a bit like Tsushima, doesn't it? I think he got him. to handle this too slow what did you find the samurai has been stealing from the villagers he has been starving the people here for some time so now we know no major surprises internet a daimyo in Fukuyama castle sands of time remake is we back on track not before but not until 2026 you'll be difficult to find i heard rise of the ronin was good Daimyo. Yeah, people have been moaning there's a black dude, yeah. Who will take the lead? We can sneak in. Or charge through the front gate. It's almost dark. No one will see me coming. They will not stand a chance. But be careful in there. Don't worry. I won't be alone. It'll be me and the shadows. In the shadows. Oh, he's built like a fucking tank. Save the light. I'll go straight for the daimyo. When it's fighting probably Mega Man that's done that for you, Martin. body when you can slice off the head. God, this is just a free, really reminds me of Tenchu. He said the thing. Did anyone play the OG Tenchu on PS1? You're mine now, Snake. He said snake. She said snake. <gasps> Didn't know you were in this, Martin. Oh, man, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd be dead. you just hear my knees cracking if I tried to do that. I wonder if they're going for the, like the mirage uh, type thing with this or if they're going for big open worlds like the previous couple. Oh no, Molly. Yeah. Girl is old school AC. Dude is like big, big choppy action combat.
He's coming. I need to hide. Assassinate his ass. Fujioka must have been the samurai Yasuke took out. Good riddance. So does that make... Did he make the objective easier? Like that deserves a slower death than the one I'm about to give him. Because he took out the, uh, the dude before. chain thing is, is always that's a, such a sick weapon I've shed all the blood I need time to go yeah I don't need to see a deep dive thanks guys Where's the hay? Let's jump into a hay or hay bale. You being allies then. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm very, very behind on Assassin's Creed games, but that looks all right. Again, I'll wait until like all the DLC is out and it'll be cheaper to buy as well. Oh, I fucking hate putting bedding on the bed. Sucks ass. Oh, subscription. Everyone loves a fucking subscription service. Oh, Dream, you played the worst one. <laughs> yeah, where's Shadow the Hedgehog? It's the year of Shadow the Hedgehog. They didn't put it in, in they didn't put him in Assassin's Creed. What the hell? I don't get this subscription service. Just buy the games. Although actually, they give you the ultimate edition stuff, don't they? Straight away. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure for all of us to be here to celebrate our shared passion for games. I wanted to say thank you to all Ubisoft teams around the world. This better not be it. Their talent, creativity, hard work is what makes all of us and all this possible so if you liked to one you fucking love the second you. one your passion is our driving force and we can't wait for you to get your hands on the amazing games you have seen today i do uh, internet yeah So thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you to all of you.
I skipped anime night for this. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the Ubisoft Forward post show. For I fucking skipped anime night for this. Uh, yeah, we're not watching any more of that. No, nah, we're not. I'm not doing the post show. I'm just showing more Assassin's Creed for like ten minutes. Then more Star Wars for ten minutes. Or longer. And then... Division 2. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. That might be one... I, I don't know, that was kind of disappointing. Because there wasn't really any surprises, was there? Like, what did we get? We got Star Wars, which, like, you know, I think it looks good, but we have we knew that was coming out. Uh, there was... That was fucking hell. There was a shitload of um, Star Wars, wasn't there? X Defiant, getting more maps. Sea of Thieves, boring. Prince of Persia DLC. Rogue Prince of Persia. And Sands of Time. Sands. They re announcing Sands of Time. Fucking hell. Like, what? At least give us a something. The surprise was having none. Well, it was a surprise. Avatar getting DLC. Crew, two, crew 3 getting DLC. Anno. Was Anno the only actual new game? Assassin's Creed. God, Assassin's Creed Shadow Depth thing went on for like 20 minutes. <laughs> they gave us 2026. Yeah, great. I mean, it's. Mm, I feel. I feel like that was a given, though, Mo. Like. I don't know. I was expecting at least. I don't even. You know what though? Even seeing Sands of Time remake probably wouldn't have like wowed me because it's another remake. I know it's like a. It's kind of deserving a re remake because it is old at this point. As much as I hate to to think about it, the game is coming up to like twenty years old. But all right, let's keep this short and sweet like me i've made this joke a lot of this times this week already but um the games look good um you know i think star wars looks good i think assassin's creed looks good um i will not be buying them until they are fixed and finished and all of the uh all of the dlc's out but I'm going to give this the same score I usually give, like, for the last couple of years. No Beyond Good and Evil 2 out of 10. That's all I have to say, really. I'm so salty. I'm never getting, getting that fucking game. That's the game I actually care about. <laughs> like, tell me if that one's cancelled. <laughs> 